Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. This is Kim Greenhouse. I'm very excited today to welcome Dr. Tapsana Thomas. She is the author of Secrets of the Lymphatic System, The Fountain of Youth is Within Us, Ancient Wisdom Unveiled. She's a metaphysician and a doctor of energy medicine, and she is a unique cancer survivor. She had lymphatic cancer. She's going to talk about it today and her book and her work. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Dr. Topsana Thomas to its rainmaking time. Good morning. Good morning. I am delighted to be here. <laughs> I'm excited because even though we've done many, many shows on health and wellness, I really wanted to talk about the lymph system, which we haven't covered. But I wondered if you would mind talking a little bit about when you got cancer many years ago and how you have transformed your body temple. Okay. Well, um, over 31 years ago now, I had uh, terminal lymphatic cancer, and I had done all that that was available at the time, chemotherapy, all that. And, of course, you know, it didn't work. Actually, it's not designed to, whether people know it or not. Um, There are uh, many, many ways of uh, dealing with all kinds of cancers, but our Western system only deals with chemicals in one way. And so if that's all you know, then that's all you do, and that's what I did. Um, Upon finding that I was uh, only had three weeks to live, I had already uh, learned to do this form of meditation called Surachab Yoga. And it was meditation for uh, self-realization and for God-realization. I was always seeking after the truth. And uh, so that was one of the things I learned. Um, Upon finding everything out and not knowing what else to do, uh, I uh, decided, okay, it's okay that I'm not going to be here. Because at that point, I really didn't like the world. I didn't like what was happening in the world. I didn't like being a woman. It was really a lot of uh, uh, discord going on in my own being. And so it was okay that I wasn't going to be here initially because there wasn't enough love here to me and it was just uh, very confusing. No one could explain to me why children are starving who didn't do anything, why why terrible things were happening to wonderful people. And so um, not having any answers and having searched for so long, it didn't matter. And then I went home. About three days after that, I heard a voice within me say, what you're experiencing is man's inhumanity to man. This has nothing to do with God. Remember, this is a free will zone. People have choice here. And hearing that message, I thought, what? You mean people are choosing to be this way and live like this? Well, I'm glad I'm leaving. I don't want to be in this. And then three days after that, I saw a vision of this time. Then I wanted to live with all my might. And I didn't know what to do because uh, my body was completely deteriorated. There was absolutely nothing I or anyone else that I knew knew what to do. So I just made the declaration, well... I really want to live, but I don't know what to do. And so if I'm going, I'm going in the face of the Creator. So I just sat in meditation, you know, 20 hours a day, sometimes more than that, only enough to, I I would get up to go to the bathroom. I wasn't hungry or anything like that, so I didn't, wasn't concerned about any of that. All I was concerned about was, that I may go at any moment, and so I'm going to be going in the face of God if I do it. And interesting things happened. Uh, The more I did that day by day, I felt a little better and a little better. After a few months of meditating like that, 
I was able to be up all day, and I was starting to recover. Even though my body was still in a really deteriorated state, at least I could be up. Before then, when I first started, I could only be up like 15 minutes at a time, and I had to go lay down. So that was a huge improvement that I could see and feel. And then after that, uh, people just started showing up, like one couple that I knew they were in show business, and they just showed up one day at my door. And I opened the door, and the man, his name, we called him Dickie, he just looked at me and he said, Girl, you're dying. <laughs> and I said, Yeah, I know, but I don't know what to do about it. I'm just meditating. And he said, Well, he took me by the hand, he looked me in the eye, and he said, well, you're not going to die, okay? And I said, okay. It was like I was a five-year-old, you know, and looking at this, you know, person. And so at that point, he took me to the health food store and got this book called Back to Eden. I don't know if the audience is aware of that book, but that was one of the, that is the Bible of herbs. It has... Every kind of herb you can think of, it explains what they do, what they're for, and it has a section on cancer just by itself that was like an inch thick. And so uh, he took me to the store. We got the herbs. He showed me how to make them, and I started taking those. That was the beginning, and then I uh, had to learn about it, uh, cleaning myself out with colonics and um, I did have a chiropractor friend who also was a meditator who called me and said, come over, and uh, he had a special way that he did uh, uh, colon therapy, and he had special herbs that he used, so I worked with him. Um, I was told about Misho Kushi. Now, Misho Kushi was uh, the first one to bring macrobiotics to the United States. And uh, he was in New York at the time. I went to see him, and he told me, he said, if you want to completely get well from this, you must go on a mucusless diet. He said, you know, cancer cells love mucus, and it keeps the, the system toxic, so... Uh, so I went on a mucusless diet, a macrobiotic diet. That means no meat, no no dairy. All you had, all I ate was brown rice, veggies, seaweed, uh, salted plums, and uh, some other things that are there. Uh, his book is available for those who are interested, and the way you spell his name is M I C H O, and that's Misho, and Kushi is K U S H I, and uh, it's very easy. I stayed on that diet for years, it was just the best one for me. My body just loved it, and uh, that really helped a lot in terms of giving my body the, the food and nourishment that, that, that it needed. But it, it's, oh, the other thing was I couldn't, nothing raw, because it takes so much energy to digest raw food. In a macrobiotic diet, everything is cooked, because it takes less energy to digest it, and uh, yet you're getting what you need. And so that was... Uh, a huge learning curve for me in terms of understanding food and combining foods. And, well, the, the point is when you embark upon any kind of journey, you know, you start at the beginning and then you start growing and growing more into it as you get into it. With respect to lymphatic cancer, it feels like a mystery cancer. We don't hear of it very often. How does the medical profession say that one establishes it in the body? Well, when the lymphatics, you know, the lymphatics, the way that they look at it, the lymphatics basically is the cleansing system. And uh, when, the bo when the protein level in the blood becomes so high 